purpose of this video is to describe how to create, edit and deploy a message flow using only keyboard strokes. To create the message flow, press Alt and F to open the file menu. Then use the up and down arrow keys to select new from the menu. Enter to open the submenu. Then press the up and down arrow key to select message flow. Press enter to open the new message flow wizard. And then use the tab key to tab to the new button. Press enter to open the wizard create a new container. Then use the up down arrow keys to select application, library or integration project. Tab to the OK button once you've done that. Enter to open the new application, new library or new integration project. This particular example shows a new application. Type a name for the new application in the application name field. This should be a meaningful name which uh, relates to your project. Then tab to the finish button and press enter to open the new message flow wizard. In the new message flow wizard, tab to the message flow name field. Then type a meaningful name for the new flow. For example, my flow. Use the tab key to move to the use default broker schema checkbox. Then press the space bar to either check or uncheck use default broker schema as required. Tab to the finish button. Then press enter to confirm your selection. You have now created a new message flow. You now need to add nodes to that flow. So start this by pressing Ctrl F7 to open the views menu. Then use the up down arrow keys to select the editor pane and then press enter to confirm that selection. Press Shift F10 to open the context menu and again use the up down arrow keys to select add node. Press enter to open the add node wizard. Use the up down arrow keys to select the node category. In this particular example, HTTP is being used. Press the right arrow key to open the node category folder. And once again, use the up down arrow keys to select the nodes to add. For example, the HTTP input node. Tab to get to the OK button. And if you press enter to confirm your selection, you'll see the node being added to the editor pane. To add further notes to the message flow, we simply repeat the sequence of steps which you've just done. Press Shift F10 to open the context menu. Use the up down arrow keys to select Add Node. Press Enter to open the Add Node wizard. Use the up down arrow keys to select the node category. Again, we'll use HTTP. Use the right arrow to open the node category folder. And again, use the up down arrow keys to select the node to add. This time, HTTP reply. Press tab to get to the OK button. And then press enter to confirm your selection. The node is added to the pane, but you will note that it's superimposed over the first node that you added. The next stage is to show you how to separate them and lay them out uh, according to your requirements. Start by pressing Alt-O to open the Flow menu. Then use the right arrow key to move to the View menu. Use the down arrow key to select Layout. And use the right arrow to open the Submenu. In the Submenu, use the up down arrow key to select either left to right, right to left, top to bottom, or bottom to top. This example shows left to right. Press enter to confirm your selection and the message flow nodes will then appear separated and appear in a vertical line with each message flow node oriented left to right, meaning that the input terminals are on the left and the output terminals are on the right. Press Ctrl F7 to open the views menu. Use the up down arrow key to select the editor pane and press enter to confirm your selection. Use the up down arrow keys to select the message flow node you want to move. Press the decimal, that is the dot key, to activate the reposition function. 
four-way arrow icons appear next to the message flow node that you want to move. Use the up down arrow keys to move the message flow node to the required position. Press escape on the message flow node that was in the required position and then repeat those states for all the message flow nodes that you want to move until you have the message flow laid out according to your requirements. Then configure each individual node according to your needs. Start by pressing Ctrl F7 to open the views menu. Then use the up down arrow keys to select the editor pane. Enter to confirm your selection. Use the up, down, left or right arrow keys to select the message flow node you want to configure. This example is for the HTTP input node. Press Shift F10 to open the context menu. Press the up, down arrow keys to select properties. Press Enter to open the properties tab. Tab to navigate to the required fields. In this example, path suffix for URL is being updated. Type in the required text. In this example, forward slash TMP is used. Press Ctrl F7 to open the view menu. Then use the up down arrow keys to select editor. Press enter to confirm. Use the up, down, left, right arrow keys to select the next message flow node to configure. In this example, the Compute node is used. Press Shift F10 to open the Context menu and use the up, down arrow keys to select Open ESQL. Press Enter to confirm your selection. Use the down arrow key to go to the line Call, Copy, Entire Message. Then left arrow and then Delete to remove the double minus sign at the start of the line. Press Ctrl F4 to save and close. When focus is on the Yes button, enter to confirm. The ESQL will be closed and the focus returns to the editor. Repeat this process for all the message flow nodes you want to configure. Now complete the flow by making connections between the nodes. Start by pressing Ctrl F7 to open the Views menu. Then use the up down arrow keys to select the editor pane. Press enter to confirm your selection and again use the up, down, left and right arrow keys to select the message flow node that you want to connect from. Press shift F10 to open the context menu and use the up down arrow key to select create connection. Press enter to open the add connection wizard Tap to the list of source terminals for the selected message node and use the up, down arrow key to select the required source terminal for the selected message node. Tab to the list of target terminals, for example the input terminals of the other message flow nodes. Then use the up, down arrow keys to select the required target terminal. Tab to the OK button and press Enter to confirm. And the connection is added. Then use the left, right, up and down arrow keys to navigate to the next message node that you want to connect and repeat the above process until all the desired connections have been made. The next stage is to create a bar file into which you'll package the message flow. Start by pressing Alt F to open the file menu. Then use the up, down arrow keys to select new. Use the right arrow to open the submenu. Then use the up down arrow key to select bar file. Enter to confirm the selection and open the new bar file wizard, which opens with the cursor in the name field. The value in container field defaults to bar files and the value in the folder field defaults to default. In this example, the default settings are used, but the following options are available. Tab to container field and type in the name of an existing container. Optionally, tab down arrow to the container field, enter and then use the arrow keys to select from the drop down list and enter to confirm the selection. You can tab to the new button to create a new container. 
or you can tab to the Browse button and use the arrow keys to select from a drop-down list of folders and then press Enter to confirm your selection. If it's not already in the name field, tab to the name field, type in a name for the new bar, for example, My Bar, then tab to the Finish button. Press Enter to open the Prepare tab. Tab to the list of radio buttons and use the up, down arrow keys to select applications, shared libraries, services and REST APIs, policies or message flows, static libraries and other message flow dependencies. In this example, applications, shared libraries, services and REST APIs is used. Tab to the text filter field. Optionally, type in text to filter the list of resources. Tab to the list of resources, then use the up down arrow key to highlight the required resource. In this example, my app under applications is used. Use the space bar to select the highlighted resource. Use shift tab to navigate back to the build and save button. Press enter to build the bar file. The adding to bar file window opens and displays the progress bar. When this is complete, the message operation completed successfully appears in the window. Tab to the OK button, then press enter. You've now successfully built the bar file mybar.bar, which will appear in the application development pane in the top left of the screen. You've now built the message flow and packaged it into a bar file. The final stage is to deploy the bar file so the message flow can be used in the process. Start by pressing Ctrl F7 to open the Views menu. Use the up down arrow key to select Application Development. Press Enter to confirm your selection. The focus will be in the Application Development pane. Use the up down arrow keys to select the resource you want to deploy. In this example, we use the bar file mybar.bar in the bars folder under independent resources. Press Shift F10 to open the context menu and then use the up down arrow keys to select deploy. Press Enter to confirm the selection and open the list of integration servers to deploy selected resources. Use the up down arrow keys to select the required integration server. In this example, we use my server under my node. Press tab to the finish button. Enter to confirm and open the progress window. The progress window closes when the operation is complete. The deployed resources in the bar file now appear under my server in the integration explorer view.